Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Valhalla and the Lord of Infinity. I am Malefact, advisor to the rather harebrained prince here. Last time we met our first guardian. Didn't get past it though. But we acquired something called the Rubber Souls Potion, which should deal with the electricity problems we've been having here. Too much electric, that is the problem. Look, 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 look. Now we've got. Okay, good. I'm glad it's tasty. We've got a limited. Electrifying. We've got a limited time to get through here to where we need to go. I will grab you. I got it. Electrifying. Go through you. Electrifying. Okay. Whew. Thankfully, we have what we need here. Oh, we're good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't take that. Wait. This place is spooky. That's better. So, we managed to clear the electricity bit in time. You know what we were saying? How there's weird anachronistic stuff in here? Have a look at this. A strange device. Can you tell what that is yet? Sorry, that was supposed to be Australian. Can you tell what it is yet? Slightly better. Um. It didn't work. It looks a little bit like a cash machine to me. The water of beauty. The water of beauty. Ah, oh, and here's Soldier Boy. The warrior's sword. I got Remember it. the dude that was so in love with Lord Infinity that he wanted to be buried next to his most insidious trap that he made for him? Yeah, we need to drop his shield back down. Okay, now what? Well, something happened. Yep, we deactivated the terrifying electric trap, is what happened. A door opened somewhere. Mm hmm. Doesn't matter where exactly, because opening doors is good. A guardian with black eyes. Oh, we've got a dark crystal here. A grey crystal. It doesn't fit. Doesn't work. I've got it. Oh, we already have a stamina potion. Well, why don't we drink one? That's better. I mean, after all, what's gonna hurt us that's left in this dungeon? <laughs> Can't get through there yet. But we can go through all of this, which is good. Good, good, good. Now. We did want to explore some of the other stuff with the deactivation gem and so on, but we have something for one of the skulls now. Give me a second to guess. It's the weapon. The warrior's sword. The warrior's sword. Remember we needed a used weapon? Now, the warrior's sword doesn't count by itself, it needs to be actively used, which means bloody. Okay, now what? Oh, how gruesome. <laughs> I've got it. There's even more gruesome stuff yet to come. Okay, now what? You may proceed. A door opened somewhere. Mm. Now, I think we have a passage in to the West Wing. It's being guarded by that warrior's devious trap. No, maybe not. The door did open somewhere. I know for one that we're going to want to go back and collect a couple of things before we get there. First, we did leave that cold resistance potion in the second trapped room. We can't leave that being the case. Whew. Always worried about walking around the trapped rooms. And I believe the area around the chasm has opened up. I've got it. There should also be one final thing that we can do before then. But we'll have a look, see. It's difficult to know with all these doors opening everywhere. That's the end of the map. We've already been in here. That's good. We're knocking, crossing off the places one by one. Can't go through any much of there. 
Uh, already been in this trap room? Yep. Already been in Meredith's room. Let's have a mosey on down back to the crypt, shall we? Better save. So yeah. Can we swap places? No. Nope, that's still locked. Keep thinking it's going to be the crypt. What is it? Ooh, it's getting tense. Can we swap places? No. We're going to find our way through here. Come on, I know this game. It's been a while, but I know this game. Is it this one? Is it this door that's open now? Yes! Okay. Whew. I think it's a shortcut. Yep, that's to the garden we were just in a second ago. I've got it. An emerald key? I'm a bit scared. And the red-eyed guardian. We don't have anything red for you. And that is the emerald chest. We have a deactivation stone. I'm feeling stressed. Me too. Okay, well, we know where that goes. Okay, now what? This is so much fun. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, bravo. Bravo! Have a wander around. So there's a candle here. I've got it. This candle isn't going to be much use until we find a way of lighting it. Gover it in blood, but that's not going to help. It's a key. I've got it. Good, a door key. And the thing we need a lever for. Eye of the beholder. Ah, the eye of the beholder. Burning hot coals. And the game clues you into not doing something silly here. For example, if you were to try and pick up the eye of the beholder, you'd burn Ouch, your hand. Hurt. Of course, you can make a couple of mistakes because you've got a stamina bar, so it doesn't auto-KO you, it just reprimands you slightly. Uh, one of the symbols will fit here. Okay, now what? Not much use for now until we get the second one. So we need something to protect ourselves from fire. It's a shame we've got something for ice, but not for fire yet, so... There you go. You pays, you skulls, you takes your choice. Onwards and upwards. Speaking of which... It's a skull. It's a skull. So, four skulls, they all want something. It's a skull. Bring me the talisman. Which one could it be? Which talisman? It's a skull. Bring me the talisman. Oh, how strange. Yeah. It's a skull. Bring me the talisman. I'm feeling stressed. It's a skull. Bring me the talisman. I'm confused. You and me both. There isn't an obvious clue as to which air it's supposed to be. And nothing that I can find in any of the books here suggests which skull you should give the talisman to. It is, in fact, a matter of trial and error. So if we pick a skull here and we drop one... Okay, now what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Electrocuted. Ouch, that hurt. Not that skull. So, I've got it. it's a case of having enough stamina potions to, to brute force your way through. I know it's this one, though. Okay, now what? <laughs> you may proceed. <laughs> I have helped you on your quest. <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs> Here, have a potion. Yeah. Anachronism. I'm not really sure. What is this? You wouldn't know. It's something out of your time. I've got it. A guardian with green eyes. And the rainbow dash stone? The stone of true colour. The stone of true colour. Fair enough. Well... We know where this card is going. That's one thing. We also have a passage down here that's opening up in a second. Once we have... Uh, I can't do that. Can't put it like that. <laughs> It'll never catch on. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I 
I love how the game is just randomly silly like this. It's sort of... And instead of having another lock and key puzzle, let's have a credit card, an ATM puzzle, or cash machine for my fellow Brits. I, I realise that ATM is the given term across the pond, so... Now, you remember how that square has been coded throughout the entire crypt as something you'll, you'll create a trap and you'll need a deactivation gem for, so don't go across it? The game flips you off because you don't actually need to deactivate that one. Sigh. It's a skull. Bring me remembrance. What can it mean? That skull wants remembrance. Of something or t'other. So yeah. The game does a couple of silly things like that. We've also got another silly puzzle coming up. Probably not in this episode, but in the next one as well. Which really made my head hurt when I tried to play through this. I've got it. Blue key is good, we know where that goes. What's this? The opposite stone. Hmm. Now I think that the altar puzzles are my favourite, so you have a, the opposite stone, and it does something to do with opposites. Uh, remember how I said earlier we weren't getting the Eye of the Beholder because it was too hot? But we have a cold resistance potion. Yeah. Okay, now what? Amazing. Bam! Instant fire resistance. I've got it. Fire protection potion. A mysterious rock. Oh, you mysterious rock. It's a mysterious rock and it's on... I've got it. ...a stool. That's all the help you're getting with the puzzle that it's used for. Again, that's one of the other puzzles that I dislike in this episode. The The mysterious rock puzzle is a stupid puzzle, as is the password puzzle we're going to get to in a second. But remember what I said about having two avenues of inquiry open? So we have the key that we want to use, and we have the potion that we know what we're going to use for. So there's two things that you want to do straight away, so you're kind of going, Ooh, I'll put the thing in the thing, and then I can do the other thing with the thing. And so, when it works, when you get into the flow of this game, the nice thing is that it's you get this feeling of, Oh, I'm so clever, look, I'm putting in a thing here, and I'm opening a chest, and the chest gives me a thing, and I know what to do with the thing that's in the chest, and... Again, as we'll be seeing... In the later episodes of Resonance as well, it's that nice kind of chain reaction of oh, I'm doing this and this and this and it's great, I'm a genius, and a game that makes you feel like a genius and immerses you in its world as well. Um, let's go find that blue chest. I knew that would work. <laughs> I've got it. And so what do we have here? I've got it. Yeah, it's a chicken foot. A chicken foot and? My uncle's ring. Oh, you can... he emotes! Take note, certain voice actors in certain games. In this, the first speech adventure, at least they knew how to make the main character emote from time to time even though they had to compress it god knows how many times to fit onto a floppy disk. I know what to do with both of these items, so I'll leave that as a mystery for you. We have four items we know what to do with, and there's another one, if you're, picking, if you're paying attention, or you can't really get it now, but that we could have used already and solved its puzzle. So, this is a good time to stop, leave you with a puzzler. Uh, I'm Malefact, and this has been Let's Play... Uh, Valhalla and the Lord of Infinity. I will see you Dungeon Delvers next time. Until then... <laughs>